cylinder head repair, and welding guide. Whether you're a passionate gearhead or a professional mechanic, dealing with a damaged cylinder head can be a daunting task. However, with the right knowledge and techniques, you can revive your engine and save yourself from the costly expense of purchasing a new cylinder head. Welcome to Auto V Fix, our YouTube channel exclusively dedicated to all things automotive. In this comprehensive guide, we'll delve into the intricate world of cylinder head repair and welding, equipping you with the expertise to tackle this challenging job like a pro. Understanding the Cylinder Head's Anatomy Before we dive into the repair and welding process, it's essential to understand the anatomy of a cylinder head. The cylinder head is a crucial component of an engine, housing the valves, spark plugs, and other essential parts. It plays a vital role in the combustion process, sealing the cylinders and directing the flow of air and fuel mixture. Common Cylinder Head Issues Cylinder heads are susceptible to various issues that can compromise their performance and longevity. Some of the most common problems include 1. Cracks Thermal stress, overheating or excessive pressure can cause cracks to form in the cylinder head, leading to coolant leaks or compression loss. 2. Warping Extreme temperature fluctuations or improper torque during installation can cause the cylinder head to warp resulting in poor sealing and potential head gasket failure. Three, valve seat. Damage. Worn or damaged valve seats can lead to poor sealing, affecting engine performance and efficiency. Four, corrosion. Exposure to harsh environments or coolant contamination can cause corrosion, eating away at the cylinder head material. Preparing for cylinder head repair and welding. Before you embark on the repair and welding process, it's crucial to gather the necessary tools and materials. Here's a checklist of essential items you'll need. 1. Welding equipment, TIG or MIG welder. 2. Angle grinder or die grinder. 3. Valve seat cutting tools. 4. Cylinder head resurfacing equipment, if necessary. 5. Safety gear, welding mask, gloves, respirator, etc. 6 cleaning supplies, degreaser, wire brushes, etc. Step one, inspection and cleaning. The first step in any cylinder head repair is a thorough inspection and cleaning process. Remove the cylinder head from the engine and carefully inspect it for cracks, warping, or other damage. Use a degreaser and wire brushes to remove any buildup, debris, or corrosion from the surface. Step two, crack repair and welding. If you've identified cracks in the cylinder head, it's time to prepare for welding. Start by using an angle grinder or die grinder to create a V-shaped groove along the length of the crack. This groove will provide a clean surface for the weld to adhere to. Step three, valve seat replacement. If your cylinder head has damaged or worn valve seats, it's essential to replace them to ensure proper sealing and engine performance. Use specialized valve seat cutting tools to remove the old valve seats and create a smooth surface for the new ones. Once the surface is prepared, install the new valve seats using either a press or a hammer and drift. Ensure that the valve seats are properly aligned and seated before moving on to the next step. Step four. Cylinder head resurfacing, optional. In some cases, cylinder head warping or severe damage may require resurfacing. This process involves machining the cylinder head surface to restore flatness and ensure proper sealing with the head gasket. Use a specialized cylinder head resurfacing machine or have the work done by a professional machine shop. Be sure to follow the manufacturer's specifications for the amount of material to be removed and the final surface finish. Step five, final inspection and assembly. After completing the necessary repairs and welding, 
perform a final inspection of the cylinder head to ensure that all work has been carried out correctly. Check for any remaining cracks, warping, or imperfections and address them as needed. Once you're satisfied with the condition of the cylinder head, reassemble the components, including valves, springs, and other parts. In conclusion, cylinder head repair and welding are intricate processes that require patience, skill, and attention to detail. By following the steps outlined in this guide, you can breathe new life into your engine and avoid the costly expense of purchasing a new cylinder head. And that concludes our discussion on understanding the cylinder head's anatomy. If you found these tips helpful, don't forget to give us a thumbs up, subscribe for more DIY automotive content, and hit that notification bell. Drop your comments below if there's a specific topic you'd like us to cover. Until next time, stay safe and happy driving.